best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan, I see in that. I have a movie that I believe okay. you have、It's, seen. The Departed. Nope.、Um, Fine. It is Thor Ragnarok. I have seen that. What did you think of it?、Uh, I liked it. I did. I, I assume that you didn't, since I did. I was in the middle. I liked it less than Spider Man. Less than the new Spider Man? Yes. Oh like, no way! I like Spider Man a lot more.、Um, a lot more.、Wow. Yeah. Well, Thor is my least favorite movie franchise that Marvel has. I will say that it was.、Uh, I didn't really care for the first Thor. I thought Thor two was a lot better,、uh, and I thought this one was fantastic. This one was. I feel like I got sold on something else than what I went and saw.、Oof. You feel like you got sold on a subpar movie, and it was a above par movie. <laughs> I feel like they were talking it up to it, be it, a buddy, a Hulk Thor buddy movie, and I don't feel like that's what it was. Oh, I never got that impression. Yeah,、um, uh, I definitely enjoyed the comedy aspect. I.、Uh, I, I enjoyed I the jokes.、Well. I enjoyed the jokes. I did not enjoy them being in this movie, if that makes any sense. I felt like、mm. there was. You would have rather them just like put out like a, a tweet of the jokes. <laughs> like, we're not going to put these in the movie, but here's a list of ones that we thought of. We had you in mind. Well, I thought it was, I thought the jokes were funny, but I felt like they were out of place in Thor. In this Thor, well, it definitely, yeah, I will say it, it felt out of place just based on the other two movies,、mm-hmm. but I, I felt like it was a welcome change because the other Thor, maybe they thought they realized Thor was probably one of the weaker ones, and they switched it up. Yeah, but it was like too much. It would be like if、uh, in How I Met Your Mother, Ted Mosby turned out to be the Trinity Killer or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say, not even close. <laughs> that that is the perfect.、Analogy. But also, that would have been amazing. That it would have been good. This is the opposite. That would have made a lot more sense. Because Ted is like a sociopath. It would have made sense for him to also be a psychopath. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, 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 it was, I don't know, it was okay. Enjoy the storyline. The storyline? No, I didn't like the storyline. I didn't like. I don't like that Loki is still in the movies. That has always seemed weird to me,、um, because in the first movie or the first Avengers, he like kind of yeah, dies. Yeah, they made him. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Does he?、Mm. But he does. I don't remember. He comes back. Like it's just all weird. Like he just. I don't know. I I sure. I'm sure Loki is a big character in the comics.、Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure since it's his brother. And but, he's a big character in Norse mythology. But so, I, it might be my own bias about how little I like the original Thor movie. But I how much you don't like what's that said about how much you don't like your brother? Yeah, well, that's a big part of it too. But、um, he so Loki was a bad guy in the original Thor movie, right? Yes, and yes. then. He comes into Avengers and he's the big bad guy in that, and it felt like why not use a better bad guy? Why reuse this one from like why take the villain from a bad movie to be the villain in the main Avengers? So that made me dislike him even more. Then he showed up again, and then now he shows up in this one, and it's just like, and now he was like not a threat to anybody. I will say that I I agree that they made him for him to be who he was in 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 this movie and in Thor two they made him too bad in the Avengers like almost destroying all of New York to be in like someone that they casually let walk around yeah like I, other than that I don't have a problem with it、yeah. I I I like villains walking the streets it makes things interesting <laughs> just in life is that just a life、uh... Just in general, yes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was okay. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. It's probably, uh, on the lower end of the Marvel movies really? for me. Yeah. I definitely enjoyed it. See, I, I know that you didn't care for the second Guardians of the Galaxy. Did not. I liked that one a bunch, and then I thought this one was even better. Really? I, uh, I enjoyed all of it. Hmm. What did you like about it? Uh, I like, like I said, I liked the, the comedy aspect. I thought it was light while still having a, you know, fighting type storyline. I, I liked Jeff Goldblum. I did, I hated Jeff Goldblum. He was the you worst. You hate everything. <laughs> He was so annoying in this. What do you want? You want him to just be himself or what? I don't I don't want Jeff Goldblum in this movie. Do you like Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park? Yeah, but he's the same character I feel like in all of them. Um sure. Like it it's a, it's hard for me to get on board with an actor who is exactly ju- like he's just the actor in the movie and not him playing a role. Do you know what I mean? Like it's hard for me to lose sight of oh that's Jeff Goldblum dressed up funny. Yeah, but what's not funny about Jeff Goldblum dressed up funny? Well, if he was Jeff Goldblum in the the movie, then yeah, okay. But he was a who the, says he wasn't? The movie did. They just called him the Game Master. I also didn't say previously he was Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't a fan of him. I, I found him annoying. I did like uh, the the so the director voiced the uh, yeah the Korg Korg yeah. I thought he was funny, that, but he felt so out of place. It was kind of obnoxious. He felt out of place for me at first when we first see him. Yeah, just like his his voice matched with his body was so off putting to me. Well, I thought that but was I funny. I felt like he. Well, it it just took me like a scene to really like accept it. Yeah. But uh, I felt like he was the highlight of this movie. Yeah, he, he stole was. The movie. He was my favorite part of this movie. But it it I felt like he sh- should have been in a different movie. You know, like. I feel like Thor was, th- this was not the right, I think if, uh, the director take, what's his name? Taka? Ta- Taiki? Mm, oh, I'm not gonna try it. Yeah. Th- I'm not gonna do it. <clears throat> I think if the director would have directed something like Guardians of the Galaxy with his sense of humor, it would have been a mm-hmm. lot better. No, you would have found something to complain about. I like the first Guardians. Oh, the lesser one? Yeah. Way. Classic. The first one is much better than the second one. No, that's incorrect. You are so wrong, sir. You have awful taste. Uh, that is not true. Anyways, before you destroy our whole friendship. If, hey, if it hasn't been destroyed by now, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, what did you... I'm trying to think of what all happened in the movie. He he starts out and he <laughs> is captured. <laughs> are you okay there? Yes. Well, they are sent to find their or they're trying to find their father. Well, even before and, that. Oh, which by the way, what did you think about the Matt Damon cameo? I hated it. What? Yeah. I knew it was coming. Of course you did. How? It was uh it was, someone talked about it on a podcast. Oh, really? I didn't see, I had no idea. I didn't even realize it was him at first. Yeah, I, I, he. Oh, and so because someone told you about it, you now hate it. <laughs> well, no, I didn't. You are an awful person. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like it, but I, it wasn't, it, if it would have caught me off guard, it might have been funnier, but I, I didn't enjoy it. That seems pretty that reasonable. Total rubbish. But, no, not whatsoever. Again, it's the same thing with Jeff Goldblum. He just, him being in it just took me out of the movie. Boo. What movie can you ever watch with Jeff Goldblum where you wouldn't think that? That's what I'm talking He's about. Jeff That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like Jeff Goldblum so in movies. you him just stop making movies. Or be a better actor. Be a 
better actor. Yeah. I'll let him know. Well, no, he's... Hey, he, my he, friend Alan says, hey, Jeff Goldblum, you know you're famous and everything? Be better than that, please. He's the only person in the world, probably, who does like Because you're not good enough. You're yourself. No, yeah, that's the thing. He, he seems he just this, like the same character in everything I've seen him in. Name something he's been in where he doesn't seem like the same actor or the same character. Oh, I can't. But that doesn't take a, take me out of the movie. Would you be really disappointed to like meet Jeff Goldblum in real life and then him not be like his characters whatsoever? Wait, if I met Jeff Goldblum and he's completely opposite than his characters, would I be disappointed? Yeah. Like, like you're kind of implying that Jeff Goldblum just plays himself in all of his roles, right? He's like the same. That's just how he is. Well, no, it's the same. It's the same thing I have with Chris Pratt. It seems like every character he plays is just. It's either the same character or him just being himself, like not acting. And either way, if if it's completely opposite of his real personality, or if it's exactly like his real personality, him doing it the same way over and over makes it really hard for me to get lost in the movie. I just see the actor being the same character again. That's my issue. Okay, so if you went to a party uh-huh. and Jeff Goldblum was there, yes. would you rather him be like how you see him in the movies, like, and that's just how his personality is, or come to find out he's not like that at all? Because then at that point, you realize you're like, okay, so you can be different, you just choose not to. Yeah, I would rather him be how he is. So you'd feel like you you want to feel like you're hanging out with movie Jeff Goldblum. Well, I feel like you're putting words in my mouth. I would, based on I'm just trying my, to figure you out, <laughs> based on my uh, feelings about him as an actor. If I met him and he was completely different than he is in movies, I would be more confused as to why his choice would be to be the same way in all movies. What if he is being held prisoner inside of his own body, right? He yeah. gets cast for these movies, and let's say he's a top-notch actor. And unbeknownst to him, he's only been cast because of who he is and how he acts. And that's what the directors are going for. So he gets out there, and he's like, he's prepping for these roles. And he's like really going in-depth, trying to, to make the character his own. And he gets on set, and it's first day, and he's acting his heart out. And they're like, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, look. That was nice, but like, we want you from like Jurassic Park. We want that guy in this movie. Can you do that? And then he's just like, all right. And then he goes to being Jeff Goldblum and he never gets to really show his true side. Well, I feel like you're missing the point here. I don't it's have heartbreak. I don't it's ha- heartbreaking. I don't have a personal agenda against Jeff Goldblum. I don't have any issue with him or the character he pretends to be on screen. My issue is that he, I just keep seeing him the same way. And it makes it harder for me to enjoy a movie. I feel the same way about like Johnny Depp, except for he's just really annoying. Well, Johnny Depp isn't the same character. He's just really bad at all the characters he plays. I feel like he is always like Jack Sparrow as whoever he's playing. <laughs> it's just, he's just doing so he's like, two, two layers deep. Is, yeah, is Jack Sparrow playing Willy Wonka? <laughs> that's That's a pretty solid theory. Yeah, so I don't care for him. Yeah. Well, I don't really care for Jeff Goldblum in this movie. And then if there's any movie where he's not like an over-the-top character, it's like, this is Jack Sparrow trying his hardest to portray Johnny Depp. (laughs) And it doesn't work. Well, getting back to Thor, where do you rank this in the list of Marvel movies? Uh, hmm, okay, so it's definitely the best Thor, in my opinion. Hmm. And I would probably put it, hmm, it's hard because it, it, it's hard to compare like, uh, the, the Marvel cinematic universe with the movies that are outside of that, like the X-Men movies. Hmm. But I mean, like, Logan is, is one of the top ones. But also, of course, love Spider Man too. Well, Logan isn't really uh, a Marvel movie. No, it's it's it. That's why I'm saying it's it's hard to. I mean, it is, but it's not in the same universe almost. Yeah, well, because it's made by different people. Right, it's made by Fox. Yeah. 
So, as far as the the Marvel Cinematic Universe goes, mm. you know the the new stuff. I'm gonna say probably it's up there in the top three. Out of all of them, or just the new ones? Out of the new ones, starting. Well, let's say if we started at Iron Man. So from Iron Man up till now, the original Iron Man. Yeah. So starting at the beginning of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to now, so just all yeah, of that's, them. That's what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> what are you talking? I don't. I don't understand anything you're saying. That is right exactly now. what I said. Yeah, but you said I, the new ones. Yeah, the, these newer movies, not like the past Spider-Man or Fantastic Four nonsense stuff like that. Well, we're, so we're just talking about the cinematic universe. Yes. All right. Now we're on the same page. You say this is top three in all of them? Uh, top three, top five. It's, yes. a, it's in your top three out of the top fives? It's top five. Top five. Let me think. It's, it's, it's gonna be up there, I would say, with, uh, you know, there's like, like s- really- 17 of them or something like that. Is there that many? Yeah. Okay. You well, got three uh, Iron Man, like, three okay. Captain America, three Thors, uh, two Avengers, uh, Ant Man, yes. Guardi- Guardians uh, one and two. Two good. So that's, what is that? That's 14 just there. Um, and I'm missing some. I can't think of what. We got Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. We've got, uh, I don't know. What I can't the, think of what them. What are the other two? I guess the Hulk movies probably count. I don't think that they do. I think that Incredible Hulk does. The one with Ed Norton? Yeah. Okay, so we'll count it. it. That definitely doesn't rank up there, though, for me. Yeah, that one's not very good. But it's better than the Thor movies. You think the Incredible Hulk is better than the Thor movies? Um, yeah, better than the first Thor. I haven't seen the second Thor. I would, I would say that, what? You haven't even seen the second Thor? No, I fell asleep in the first one. It was so bad. Hmm. First Thor is the worst. Second is the second. And third is the third. Nope, that didn't make sense. <laughs> first Thor is the worst. Uh-huh. Second Thor is the second. Third Thor is the first. Best. Um, Roughly. yeah, uh, so I really liked uh, Civil War, so that would be up oh, there. Oh, Spider Man, we didn't name Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man is in there. I like Spider Man. My top mm. three, top three Marvel yes. movies are Iron Man 1, Guardians okay. 1, Spider Man huh. 1. Like really? Homecoming, yeah. Um,. I would probably have to say Civil War is my top first one. Mm. Uh, And then probably Iron Man 1. Oh, hmm. This is where it gets tough. I might say Thor 3 as my number 3. And then Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Then Spider-Man Homecoming. And then after that, it's a whole jumble. I don't know. Ant-Man's up there, too. I liked Ant-Man. Ant-Man was... I had a similar feeling about Ant-Man as I did to this. I didn't think I was really going to like Ant-Man because when I found out that it was going to be Paul Rudd, I thought that would take me out of it, you know, mm. with him. He didn't, he didn't, I, I didn't feel like he would be a good superhero, Yeah, but I felt like it worked and I thought it was pretty good. So I, I liked Ant-Man. I think I went but in. I had low expectations. The opposite. I thought, oh, Paul Rudd is going to do a really good job. And my expectations were too high. Because uh, I like Paul Rudd in almost everything I see him in. Oh, yeah. I love Paul Rudd. But I th- I thought he would be too Paul Rudd for this movie. I would mm. see him as Paul Rudd. How yeah. You see mm-hmm. Jeff Goldblum. That's weird. Yeah. But he wasn't. I know. Because he's a better actor than Jeff Goldblum. Whoa. Whoa. You've proven, whoa, 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 whoa. proven all my points now. I ain't proven no points. That's true. I don't even like Paul Rudd. <laughs> you don't like Paul Rudd? Not anymore. Because of this conversation? <laughs> just just now. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I know he's an avid listener, and I hate it. 
I hate to do that to him, but you blew it. All right. Well, if Thor Ragnarok comes on TV, what are you going to do? Every time. Every I will watch time. It. Every, maybe not, but I'll definitely watch it again <laughs> for the the next time I see it. Come on. Yeah. Um, I would probably change the channel. I don't need to see this again. I'm good. Boo, you're never going to watch it again. I saw it once. I might watch it again. Um, but, uh, can't imagine when. There's actually. Watch it for Korg. He, well, he was funny, but I know his jokes already. Yeah, it's still funny. The, it's not just about the jokes. It's about the delivery. Yeah, but I don't need to see them again to appreciate them. Yeah, I don't know what you appreciate. <sighs> not you. I can tell you that oh, much. Really? We are doing a Marvel movie anthology uh, bonus podcast over on our Patreon. If you want to go check that out, we've already talked about Iron Man. We've already talked about The Incredible Hulk. This month, we're going to be talking about Iron Man 2. Uh, Taylor, what yeah. did you, you think of our first, our original two episodes that we did? They were the best of all time. Yeah. We've never done a better episode than that. Yeah, they were pretty good. What was your, what, what, what stands out the most to you from those podcasts? All my insight. <laughs> there was a lot of that. The fact what, that I, I don't want to ruin it, but hey, I'm going to say it. we had Robert Downey Jr. as a guest, <laughs> but it ran a little long and we had to cut him out. We had to cut him all out. Yeah. He he gets a bit wordy. Um, you He's did, definitely wordy. You had and that. I did not know he had a very heavy German accent. Yeah, that was weird. I'm starting to think that wasn't Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I just found him on uh, Craigslist. He said he was Robert Downey yeah. Jr. Um, you and had a, a, a catchphrase though. Do you remember what, what was your catchphrase on the Iron Man episode? <laughs> Why are you going to put me on the spot like this? <laughs> it was, woo, Dilly. <laughs> that was so loud in my headphones. Perfect. Yeah. So you can go check that out over on Patreon if you are interested. If not. If- do it anyways, because then maybe you'll become interested. That is true. But this true episode is coming out on January 21st, which means Taylor just went and saw 12 Strong with Chris Hemsworth. 12 Strong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the remake of 12 Angry Men. Have you seen 12 Angry Men? I have not. You know what it's about? Um, I'm guessing... It's like seven guys get really upset about something. Why seven? I don't know. It was a guess. There has to be it's a certain... called 12 Angry Men. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's 12 Angry Men about? Uh, it's, a, it's an old movie from like the 50s or 60s, I want to say. Basically about a jury panel... Who the whole movie pretty much takes place in the jury room, uh-huh. and they're trying to uh, they have to they have to be they have to have a unanimous decision on whether a guy is innocent or guilty, and pretty much everyone doesn't care. They they want to get out of there. They all got plans. Some guys got like baseball tickets and this and that. So they all are willing to just say guilty so they can get out. But there was one guy who kept voting innocent because he truly believed the guy was innocent and slowly throughout the movie he sways each guy until eventually they all vote innocent all right and this is just a a remake of that um with chris hemsworth yes yeah that's weird because the the synopsis says that it's about a special forces team deployed to afghanistan Uh after 9-11 but this is about a jury, yeah. or a- yeah. So it, it's it's about a court martial hearing in Afghanistan. Okay. About the uh, deserter Bowie Bergdahl. Oh, okay. I thought that was Iraq. That was Afghanistan. Well, they bring him to Afghanistan for the trial. Okay. Gotcha. And Chris Hemsworth uh, it, plays Bo Bergdahl. He plays. No, he plays the judge. Oh, he's the judge. He's kind of young to be a judge. What? How old do you have to be a judge for? Well, who? they they give him a, a white wig. Oh, okay. That's what those are for. Yeah, every judge that you see, they're uh-huh. really in their twenties. Judge Judy. 
They just wear those white curly wigs. Judge Wick, uh, Judy is 26. Um, so Chris Hemsworth, how, who judges, uh, court martial hearings? Is it just a normal judge or is it like a, a military judge? Oh, it's a military judge, I believe. Okay. You ever see the show Jag? Uh, no. It's like that. Gotcha. It's, it's like Jag meets 12 Angry Men. Okay. Meets season two of Serial the podcast. Wow. That's impressive. Um, what did you, what were your feelings about this movie? Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was, uh, historically accurate. I was shocked when he killed 11 of the 12 men. Spoiler alert. I guess Wait, I should have said that first. The judge, Chris Hemsworth? Or Mike? No, no, no. The, uh, Bowie Bergdahl played by Jack Black. Oh, Jack Black is in this movie. How'd Michael Shannon do? Was Michael Shannon any good? He, uh, no. No. He was the bailiff. Okay. He was a real pushover. So is this, how, how comparable is this to my cousin Vinny? Um, exactly like that. Uh, Bowie Birddahl, uh, represents himself. Now, I don't know if you're giving Bo Birddahl a nickname by calling him Bowie. Is it not Bowie? <laughs> I don't okay, know. Okay, well, they call him Bowie in the movie. That's why I thought that. Gotcha. I, I just wasn't sure if that was like your pet nickname for him. Bowie. Bowie, yeah. Uh, Bowie Birddahl. Is it, it's just Bo? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Bo. My bad guy. <laughs> Your bad guy? My bad, comma, guy. Oh, I thought it was your possessive that bad guy. guy. Oh. <laughs> He's my bad guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hashtag not my bad guy. All right. Well, do you recommend 12 Strong? Should people go and see this movie? Uh, if you have a hankering for justice, yes. Hmm. I thought, don't have a I thought Bo Bergdahl kills all the jurors. Oh, well, yeah. Come to find out. <laughs> They were all terrorists. Okay. Gotcha. Cause I was going to say, that doesn't sound like justice. That sounds like the they opposite take off of mask justice. And they were his captors. So Bo Bergdahl kills his captors. So the oh, captors hold 11 a, of the 12. Hold a mock trial to confuse him? Uh, yeah, they're trying to mess with his mind. Gotcha. So is Chris Hemsworth actually Chris Hemsworth or is he is it just like a, uh, a Mission Impossible mask that an Afghani guy is wearing? Afghani guy, is that? That sounds not right. <laughs> I think that's right. Is Afghani. that right, Afghani? Yeah, that's what that's, that's the equivalent of saying American. And is it though? Afghani, Afghani sounds pretty sure. I think so. Doesn't sound correct out, coming out of my mouth. We'll go with it. What would you call someone from Afghanistan? <sighs> Um, Afghanistonian. Afghanistonian? Afghan, Afghani, I guess. I'm pretty sure it's Afghani. It, it is. Okay. Just like, just like someone is an Iraqi. Yeah. Alright, we'll go with it. If uh, I, yeah, so. If I'm accidentally what? racist, then it's your fault. Uh, we won't know until it's too late. That's true. Uh, yeah, so Chris Hemsworth does pull off the mask and it is Tom Cruise. Oh, Tom Cruise. I was expecting, not an Afghani guy. Well, he's playing an Afghani guy. Oh, okay. So Tom Cruise is someone from Afghanistan. Is- yes. Pretending <laughs> to be Chris Hemsworth, who is a judge. Is- <laughs> <laughs> In a fake trial. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that is correct. <clears throat> yep. Got it. Got it. Following. Uh, you got it. So if you like justice, you say go and see this movie. That's your recommendation. Go and see the movie. That's yeah. my recommendation. All right. Well, if you like this podcast, you can go over to Patreon and help support us by donating a dollar either towards Taylor or I. And with that dollar, you can get uh, whoever has the least amount of votes will uh, have to pay a punishment. You will also get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. And then we have other options where you can get bonus episodes yes. – uh, you can listen to our Marvel anthology series. You can help by picking a bad movie to make us watch, or you can be a sponsor of the show. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Boss Play. You can go over and check them out. Yes. So you can like us over on Facebook and be a part of our Cool Guys Club. 
Cool Guys Club, yes. And, Classic. Um, anything else from you, Mr. Enixon? I got nothing new. <laughs>